Hello everybody, it's Steve. Welcome back to Surviving Mars Green Planet. In the last video, uh, went over some New Year's resolutions that I've got. We've got this area mostly flattened. Come on, finish up. Finish up. It's almost there. Once it's done up, I'm going to go ahead and uh, create a project up here. I think I'm going to go um, in the F on this stretch here. Let's go ahead and queue that up. We're going to do a big ramp. Biggest ramp we can make. Can do that up here. Too large and valid placement. Okay, maybe not there. Go ahead and is it actually too high? Hang on. I can't go that way. You know what? I think I'm about to do the, the two tiers thing that I was talking about in an early episode. Yeah, we're just going to do a little ramp here, and then I'll do another ramp from here up to here. The game's just being kind of dickish to me right now, so Sector do what it needs to do. Sector I-0, nothing comes up. Um, nobody's willing to do this one. Um, the Sledgehammer is bringing back some monies for me. That is, this very, very beneficial trade route that uh, BSC has because they will just trade what they have. That's so like, oh yeah, we'll send you some money. And they and they actually have $2 billion on hand, so I'll take it. But they're the only transmit. They're the only group that actually does that. These guys will trade for research, which is the stupidest trade I've ever seen. Fifty electronics for eight hundred and fifty research. China, like they'll give us concrete, which is okay, or metals, which is okay too. We don't need either of them though. Um, we're doing okay on both of them, but since this area is now leveled, let's go ahead and continue. Research complete. Factory AI is done, which is helpful. Unfortunately, I can't afford it right now. Oh, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. I can't afford it. It's five electronics, two machine parts. I thought it was five. I thought it was five machine and two electronic. That's perfect. I'll go ahead and do this. Resources are low. Yeah, they're super low. Uh, once, whoops. That was me bumping my microphone uh, arm. Weird sound. Once uh, Glitterhoof gets back, I'll go ahead and order up as many machine parts as I can carry. And then also, since this guy's now producing 14 fuel per, I really need to kick up my fuel production. Uh, electrostatic dust storm. He's not going anywhere. But that's going to kick up these guys. I'm going to go ahead and close up my uh, Sterling Gen so they don't. Uh, as much. We've got this maxed out. That's fine. And that was close. Um, if I need to hook this one up, I totally can once I have the machine parts to do so. Um, I've got the availability to pull some concrete down. Okay, sweet. This guy's just going to dump off the excess uh, waste rock. He doesn't need it. Neat. If I need to get more water extractors going, I can totally make that work. Also, since this is a dust storm that's lasting for three souls, um, this guy's not going to be able to get back for three souls, so we're probably going to have a very, we're going to have a breakdown very much like we had a few episodes ago. Also, just need something to pop. Now, it could just be a, a thing where because these areas are what, 60% each? If I went ahead and put maybe just a line, maybe like three uh, three more sensors. In the high ground, and I could do that. Well, not with this guy, because he just got malfunctioned again. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to send him over here. 
I'll go ahead and just, you know, send them up and around. Actually, what the hell am I doing? What the actual hell am I doing? I'll send them down this way. If I send it over here, I can go ahead. Scan. I'm not going to touch this concrete deposit. It's not worth it. If I put down... I print some drones out, get this project done that much faster, getting the excess waste rock done, send them up there, do that, and then take Hey Hey with like five metal, five machine parts, or five metal, five electronics, take those, and then send them off. We could, in theory, get this done. Oh, how much of these things running me now? Wow, I can only bring up, I can only bring up 10, but if I wait for this mission to complete as soon as the dust storm ends I could bring up another five yeah I gotta bring it up now yep I gotta go for that until I find Extractor AI, I'm stuck on the beach. It's, it's got to be one of these ones up here. Oh, I could have looked into getting probes. Okay, MDS is almost done, which is going to be helpful. Ugh, always something. It's also helpful that you don't have any oxygen going. If I had superior pipes, this wouldn't happen. The same. Was there a second leak? What was that other drone doing? Okay. So they're up and running, but at the same time, they need maintenance as soon as possible. This, uh... Complete. Has been a bit of a blessing, because we were able to get some extra fuel put up together. Okay, you're ready to go. You guys, you probably don't even need more than f like 15 total over here. I'll go ahead, grab you, unpack you, get to work. All right, cool. They're immediately going to go work and level the ramp because thankfully this one didn't need a ton of, uh, uh, didn't need to do a lot here. For leveling, it was just like a quick, like, okay, just take some waste rock, smooth it out real quick. All good. Great. Oh, wait a minute. What? Hang on. Polymer blade all of these things. I didn't realize that these things were not upgraded. And that's a huge boost for me. Because these things will actually generate 20 power per. And... I could probably shut one of these guys down uh, during the maintenance cycle. Right there. Yeah. Damn. I guess we got one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Damn. I'm going to burn through all of my, like, all the machine parts I'm bringing up are immediately going to get swallowed up by stuff. Resources are low. Oh. All oh, right, because these two are still operating. Oh, well, not much, not for much longer. Yo, yo. Okay. Well, it's too bad I can't get like three hundred machine parts from another colony. Gonna drain this tank faster and faster. Sector scanned. I, I don't think I, I don't think J Zero has ever had anything for me in the two hundred some odd hours I've played this game. I don't think the sector has ever produced anything decent. Okay, level on the ramp, eighteen percent. Again, doesn't even help that like I have a drone hub. So you can put it like right there. To get all three. Oh, that's an easy flatten real quick. Flatten. 
that, that, that. Really? Cancel that. Latin. There. But once I get this set up and stabilize, I've got 501, 453, but I've also got a good amount of concrete I could hook into. Make that work. Or take this, run it, uh, run a cable up this way. Yeah, everything's kind of falling apart right now. Amazingly, this is not shut down, which, I mean, it's just more power that's coming on board. No, no, wait. Yep. Oh, I think a drone just got zapped. Okay. If I had another rocket, I'd just say, oh, yeah, pop it and just double it up. But at the same time, I only have, it takes 60 fuel to get $200 million. All right, everything's offline now. My sterling gens are working. My electronic, my drone hubs are working, but that's about it. Let's see if anybody's willing to just like take food. Oh. I don't know why I just keep. I don't know why I keep hitting this one. It's the definition of insanity. I could do. Reach out to them. Let's go. China's got good relations, so they have no machine parts. Europe's got a handful. BSC's got a handful. Let's contact them. They can't help. Okay, so we can request these things. Contact. Exchange text. Bite me. No way I'm giving them that. Advanced resource. They've got 34. It's going to kill the... Um, it, uh, it kills your trade? Wait a minute. Damn. They could If they could send me a shuttle full of fuel... That would be perfect. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven machine parts going out the door as soon as this rocket lands. Damn, I'm not happy about that. Eight, nine if I turn this on. And I've got to turn it back on. I need to get more. Thankfully, I can refuel the rocket really quick and just send it right back. Or I can wait for Sledgehammer to come back, fill it up with... The food and the fuel it needs. Then bring down Glitterhoof to take care to get the colony back up and running. I may end up going that route actually. Get this one down on the ground first. Get the food and the fuel loaded to get it out of here. We'll have ten fuel remaining. It'll take a few days to get it back up and going, but it'll work. Okay. Wow, you guys are taking forever for this. Sector scanned. Oh look, another sector where nothing comes up. I'm kind of not getting surprised here, but I think actually... I'm going to do this. Get these, sec these six sectors scanned. And then I'll go ahead and start working on the upper ground. Because getting the upper level scanned, I think, is now needs to be the main priority, because nothing's coming here. Okay. Go ahead. Perfect. Get out. I wanted this rocket to go out again, because this way... We're getting no exports. Oh, thankfully, Europe, you're not offering that god-awful trade route. Good stuff. Okay, no trading being offered, period. Super. Okay. 
our meager pittance of uh, fuel and monies right now. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna turn off two of these guys. Open these guys up. We're still producing plenty of power. Okay. Yeah, I need to have one of them operating. But if I turn these guys off, in fact, if I demo this guy... I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of this guy. And granted, I should've... I, I could've probably gotten away not doing the large turbine with them. I salvage a little bit, and I save face just for a moment. One malfunctioning drone. Hey, fix him. There we go. A little bit of teamwork. Alright, as soon as this level, he goes up the ramp, and let's go ahead and prep. The ramps make things so much easier, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna take 50 waste rock, which is fine, because you'll have it. There. And I'll make sure he's fully loaded, which he's not right now. I'll make sure that he uh, loads up as much waste rock as he can before he heads up the ramp, and we'll be good to go. Alright. Over here, we've got 26 of the 60 we need. Unfortunately, I can't even factor AI over here. Amplification would allow me to turn one of these guys back on. Let's see... Math, 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 math. Go ahead and offer metals for... I guess do metals for food, see if anybody jumps on this. We're running low on metals again, which just means we have to find it. We have to get that. Resources are low. Whoa. That's awful. Actually, that... I could make happen. It's a bad trade, but if we do it just as a single trade off, I'll take it. Sector scanned. So now I'm doing 50 metals. I get 34. It's gonna put me in the 60s range, and then I do this trade route with Europe. I send them 50 polymers. I get 1,900 flat research. It's a, an abysmal trade, but. There's the upgraded extractor. There's the extractor upgrade. That doesn't help me. Oh, hot diggity damn. I need that one. Triple electric scrubbing. Uh, that pretty much means I can start kicking the dust off these buildings. If I put it right there, it's going to eliminate a lot of the need for maintenance. So, it's a good... It, it's still a bad trade. Don't get me wrong. The trade is still bad. But... It's better than what I'd be looking at otherwise. Okay, a little more fuel heading out the door. What are you waiting on? Okay, Sledgehammer's still waiting on fuel, which is fine. We can get that pretty quick. We've got, again, not a lot of metals, but if we do it just right, I can do a little bit of horse trading and make things work. 658. I think the drones are actually waiting for other things. 83% there. Factory amplification. And this takes... Oh, two polymers. I'm going to do that at all sites. Turn you back on. Two polymers to increase... Um, so it's going to kick the power up by 30. Fine by me. It's now producing 17 of this one. 12 here. 15 here. So 17, 15, 15... 47 fuel per day. We'll send Glitter Hoof off. Sledgehammer. He's going to get fueled up that much faster. And hey, hey. Where you at? Hey, hey. Oh. I just made a... I just made a derp. I should not have sent Glitter Hoof back. Because I can't go get that... I can't, I can't go get that stuff now. Okay. Because I need a rocket to send to Europe. 
the Europe colony to get that stuff. Just switch that to a landing pad. Damn. Okay, I screwed up there. It happens. Quite a bit with my channel, but it happens. Alright. Leveling's almost done. We're gonna head up here. Now scan that. Again, these these sectors are just disappointment, disappointment, dis like the last time I got something from a deep scan was right here. So yeah. This will be the last I'm done. I need to start scanning stuff up here. Because if anything is gonna bear fruit, it's gonna be on the high ground. It's not gonna be on the mid ground that I've been scanning for the last ninety seven bleeping souls. It's gonna be in a spot I haven't looked yet. And knowing my luck, it's probably right here. The extractor AI. Right the hell there. Amazingly, I haven't gotten a notification of another cold wave coming, but... Eh. Okay, that is research amplification. As much as I like mega storage, triple electric scrubbing needs to be a higher priority. But I'll go ahead and I'll do that. And then once Glitterhoof gets back, I'm going to go ahead. I got to order up more machine parts, more electronics. Just the, the lot in life I've been dealt right now. We got a full 6% temperature. Super stuff! As we're doing the terraforming process, can't... let's see. How much does a lake need? Mm. Again, if I had 300 machine parts, you all over that molehole mine. Okay. You need to grab as much resources as you can load. Nom 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 nom. I only need 50, but I'm just going to grab everything I got here anyway. Go. You're going to take these seven up the hill with you. That works. Got a power fall off of four. Okay, four during the overnight hours. That's fine. Yeah, I can work with this. And then one scrubber right here is going to take care of a lot of the problems. Are you freaking kidding me? Ugh. And there goes all my stuff. Sector scan. Wow. The most dickish dust devil I've seen. Watch, he's gonna double back in a second too and just hit me again. That took all that took everything. I think that was a massive, massive problem. How many how many leaks do I have? I got two pipe leaks. So all the water they got is flooding out the door. Damn it. When it rains, it pours. Huh? Too many drones are already constructing this building? Okay. Um, these guys are useless right now, so I'm gonna go ahead. Back them up. They're done. Okay. Get back over here. You actually need to head over to this spot, because as soon as this ramp's done, he's gonna have work for you. Then out here. Just gonna pop out the drones. Okay. Back. Got more stuff being loaded. I'm with how slow this series is going, I have given serious consideration to doing some of this off camera and just kind of pushing things forward. 
But when resources are I low. do get those big moments where I locate like um, the extractor AI, where I get something that I really need, a couple like you know twenty two metals on the ground. That's perfect. It took me seriously that long to realize that A seven had been scanned. Another forty three there. More metals for me to get my hands on. Uh, this sector is really not helpful, so I'm actually just going to skip him. I want to go for the sectors where there's buildable, um, where I have, where things can be built. I have a very hard time believing that the the breakthroughs I'm looking for are going to be buried where they're buried. Granted, a big dome right here would be kind of kick ass. Don't want to do that though. Um, like this could be a good like artificial sun site or a space elevator, or something. Ooh, sorry. Okay. I'm a little bummed that I could not... Oh, I guess the drones are mainly needed when they're actually doing the lands, when after the waste rock's been delivered. So I might need to bring those drones back over here and put them to use. Oh, look, everything's broken again. Ugh, lay crap. So, I need more than 10. I know that. Probably need to get about 20. Oh, man, I can't even send Sledgehammer back out. Because these guys are all offline. And they're, and I'm not staggering the maintenance on them. So, as soon as Glitterhoof comes in, i got to spend as much money as I can to bring up... i got to bring up 5 electronics. That's a must. And then as many machine parts as I can get. So it's probably going to be a 10 and 5. And then I'm just, I'm limping along right now. So I may end up doing some of this off camera. Just to make this work. We've got a soul 100. And this colony is dying in slow and painful death. Ooh. I can, use, I can work with that. Not gonna bring up a fuel refinery. I'm gonna bring up 15 and 10. Because I still need the machine parts for these two, for the factory AI. I'm only gonna upgrade one, though. But getting 15, that's gonna take care of all of these, and I'll have six left over. This building deteriorates at a much slower rate than the other ones do. These were all 120 hours ago. Sectors 120 gone. hours ago. This is maintenance somehow 45 hours ago. Okay, what is China offering? Well, I don't really know. What I'll do as soon as this open, as soon as this ramp's done, I'll send the, uh, I'll send my explorer up there just to go pick it up. And get me that triple electric scrubbing, because that is a triple electric scrubbing. I think in in my ranking, you know, my in my mind of the techs that do the most for a colony. Granted, yeah, the wonders are cool. Don't get me wrong, but triple electric scrubbing almost eliminates the, eliminates the need for maintenance throughout much of a colony. Yeah, you got to spend like, eh, let me, let me actually just read what it says here. 15 and 5. 15 metal, 5 electronics to get it. Which also would probably be a better use for the 10 electronics I'm bringing up right now. But if you have them in range of each other, you max out the range on the first one. And you say, okay, put the other one here, max out the range. They're cleaning each other, and you almost never need to maintenance them unless something huge comes through. I'd put it up against Extractor AI as one of the, as the most useful tech in this game. Except that Extractor AI, you can run a refinery with no people involved, factory AI, fueled extractors, and um, amplification. And you're just going to be Anomaly getting found. a ton of stuff. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Okay, it's a key, but it's in a very bad neighborhood because those guys do not look like they want to give it up. All right, cool. We're getting stuff revealed. 
And if we look in the research stuff, I'm working my way very quickly down the physics and robotics trees. We're going to be probably, what, the 15,000 range still on this? Um, Shuttle Hub, it's very expensive to produce. And with what with the lack of materials I have right now, it's not going to be doing much for me. Um, I'm almost like at the point where I should just knock out these really, really low-cost ones. Same time, though, I don't want to. I'm going to cut, cut Mega Storage right now, go for Topology AI. Yeah, and I guess burn terraforming subsidies. Um, even with the discount on it, it's a loss when you put them together. It's a loss when you have... If you spend the research on it and turn around and and pay for the outsourcing, you're actually going to be losing, uh, let's see, 280 research for it. All right, I will be putting a cut in here. A little bit of a change on how I usually record the videos. I'm going to record next Saturday's video right after this one. That way I can kind of have a full week's worth of content done in one swift go. Ugh. I, as soon as I find that breakthrough, I can kick this game into high gear. I can start exporting stuff, making some money, and really making this planet look beautiful before I bring any humans down. Like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and all the videos that come out of this channel. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.